All right, are we live? Henry McCoy live. Can't get that microphone up in there. Yeah, there we go. Look, man. Welcome to the studio. Pleasure to be here, Henry. James Bolden Jr. Yes, sir. Yes, You sir. know, you're coming here. I got an agenda, though. I know we, we, we were going to talk a, about our dads. We all have agendas. I was, you know, we came in. We wanted to talk about our dads. <laughs> yes. I mean, we were gonna take we were gonna take a topic that because I'm I'm really fascinated by your dad. Oh, I am too. <laughs> and I um, I want to get to know your dad through you. Good. And um, I've um, I, I, think, wish I it, think you may know my dad. Uh, well, you know, I've never met a stranger. Yeah. Um, well, Wouldn't that be cool? Yeah. Uh, I was talking to his attorney. Who's that? Uh, she's in Kansas City. Well, I don't care. Yeah. I was talking to her uh, this week, and she I mentioned your name. Hey, do you want a cold water? Yes, please. I'm going to get you a cold water. Thank you, sir. Cold water is great. Cold water, baby. That's great. Thank you, sir. And, and the so reason how did the attorney the reason I was talking how to the her, attorney know me well is it a lady? Through, through my dad yes no wait a minute yes it's yeah, through my is dad her, is she also in the house in, in Topeka in the house of representatives she used to be no but she used to be uh, uh, she, she she's worked for my dad for years okay but is she also a civil a rights Republican. attorney I think she used to do some of that but uh, uh, she, I, I mentioned your name, and she, and she said she thought my dad knew you. She thought the name sounded familiar. Well, McClure's have been haunting okay. after, since the Civil War. You know, Sam McClure was discharged here as a Yankee chaplain, and then Judge James A. McClure integrated the schools. Thank you, sir. Isn't that good? Yes, sir. That's, that's the best water for you. Yeah, I just left the Planet Fitness. Oh, yeah. Doing some stretching with the rubber band now. Uh, just to give your audience, you know, some, uh, <laughs> you know, we're going to share some wisdom with them. All today. right. <laughs> I got a rubber band stretching equipment yes. from 160 yes. Driving Academy. Yes. I did a deal with 160 Driving Academy, and that deal did not qualify for economic development with Go Topeka. And think about all the so 160 Driving Academy trains truck drivers. Oh, and, and think Wonderful. about the need for truck drivers with oh, all the distribution from, centers. From what I read about, we got out here for the box movers. Yeah, you you're way ahead of the game. But no, that one didn't qualify. Did you know? Did you know? And uh, listen to this. The FBI was investigating Go Topeka. Well, they find out. No smoking gun. Okay. Good. 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 That means they're doing stuff. Legit. Well, there's a difference between, you know, if the bank's robbed mm -hmm. and you walk in late mm -hmm. and you, you know, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Well. I, okay, so here. I, I, I have no, right now, I have no, at the current moment, I have no, uh, I have I have nothing but love for Go, to, for, for, for Go Topeka because because of you, Mr. McClure, that had uh, submitted. Henry. Um, I'm sorry, Henry. Uh, that had submitted uh, a contract that I'm working on. I won't name the name of it. At this yeah, time. yeah. But because you had submitted, even though I didn't think it was the proper thing to do, you had done it, but yet it had allowed me to get the $5,000. Henry grand. McClure always, yes. uh, bull in the yes. china shop. Yes. You can yes. talk to uh, my dear friend, uh, um, the, yeah. uh, Sterling Scott. Okay. You know, bull in, Henry's a bull in the china shop. Very good. <laughs> so All I right. Wanna thank you. Let's well, take okay. Time and thank you uh, for your assistance. Well, and I think what they do from time to time, they'll give us a little money to shut us up. <laughs> well, <laughs> and like, uh, well, I don't know about that. 
No, I'm not shutting up. Even no, and I'm not I'm either. Say, I'm, I'm giving them all. But my you know grace. something? I'm giving them my love. I'm thanking them also here live uh, with Henry Mature. I'm thanking. Well, them. and I, I I was watching an old video uh, that I did live out at the International Council of Shopping Centers, and I've been trying for years to get Jetto and Go Topeka and everybody to uh, give economic development support to retail because the sales tax is what generates the funds to give away, which now they're just doling out like the um, United Way. But you know something? I'm not going to resent Molly or Matt anymore. Mm -hmm. They're just lackeys doing the job of the board of directors. Okay. So... Um, you know what I'm saying? Why well, get well, it? No, you're, you're they're, they're the messenger. messenger. Oh, I see. I, I'm with you now. Yeah, yeah. Don't yeah, shoot yeah. the messenger. Right, right, right. And right. They gave you that money with good intention. Good. And I hope that you use it oh, appropriately. Absolutely. Oh, absolutely. And I think the guys. Absolutely. I think the guys you're working for. Mm -hmm. That's a good deal. Good. Yeah. Um, Which guys are you referring to? The ones that I can't refer to. Oh, okay. Very good. <laughs> because of okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> sensitivity, <laughs> non-disclosure. Okay, very good. And I very think good. that's actually in your contract. You're not supposed to disclose it. Well, yeah, that's correct. I just kind of read that contract really quick. Well, no problem. It worked out. But so let's talk about something. And what happened just to, just to close that okay, out, okay. contract, I was able to call and get permission to share that information with the city. Yeah, I got permission. Just so you're from your on. from from your deal from the deal, yeah, from the from the from the contractor. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Well, um, so but nothing but love for you. I want to meet your lawyer, your dad's lawyer. Well, I'll tell her that. Yeah, let's get her down in the studio. I'll tell her that. Hey, we got she, another she, microphone. She loved, she loved to meet you, I'm sure, because. Um, I, not, I don't want not, to be racist. I don't want to use the yeah. white microphone on reason. <laughs> yeah, there, there's a project uh, that I had uh, that, that I had talked to you about, but we can't go in detail with that yet. Okay. At this well, stage. we can do like uh, they do. Uh -huh. Go Topeka has like they use it projects well, this is between like, me and you. Though. Oh, okay, this okay. Is between me and you, because like can't see, go in detail at this. Time. What I've renamed uh, them doling out money like the United Way is Project Santa Claus. So what they do, nobody, who hates Santa Claus? You know, right. but I want, what I, I want I I is the you. list of all the naughty girls. That's the I'm, one, that's I'm the list I up. want. Santa Claus, fork it over, baby. I'm catching up. Yeah, yeah. I'm catching up. So uh, we'll name, we'll have a secret name for your project, the, mm -hmm. the land you want me to fall in love with. Well, uh, the land you will fall in love oh, with. Oh, okay. Well, it's the idea you will fall in love with. I love ideas. And 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 you will no longer have to uh, go to anyone. Uh, uh, one of the things uh, is you operate in the spirit. I do, I feel it. And I operate in the spirit. I vibrate at a whole different level, and, and, clean and, and, and sober. And and and, and through that uh, this this will uh, because um, my wife I've been blessed to have a, a good wife and she works for the VA yeah but I don't want to go into detail we ain't that. talking about yeah, that it's off the yeah yeah it's off the table you may have to edit that I'm not sure anyhow she's a god gift don't me. ever tell me anything that's a secret because she like see look at that well no problem okay no problem no problem. Because the good Lord has his arms around her. Yeah. Yeah. She's she's been to California. She she I'm, she I, she came from Colorado when I met her. She she's been she's been on the West Coast. Uh, she loves to travel. Uh, some people might look at her as a gypsy woman at one time. I lived in eleven different towns. Very good. So you can identify. And life. you know what I really love doing? Yes, sir. And, I, and I've traveled, too. That's I cool. love renovating places. You ought to see the place downtown. Well, I see your paintbrushes back there. Oh, yeah, I know. I love to paint. Yeah, you, yeah. You know, a friend of mine, a friend of mine's got his sister working with him. 
And like, and a friend of mine, um, he's got his sister. And I said, like, why don't you, you know, hand her the phone. She ought to be the secretary. Teach her how to be an administrator. Mm -hmm. Don't want to be a carpenter. Yeah. I don't, I've never wanted to teach my daughter how to paint. Mm -hmm. But she's an artist. Wonderful. Wonderful. Yeah, you got to meet Bianca someday. Yes, I'd love to. Bianca Bantleon McClure. I'd love to. She I'd goes back seven generations somehow, some way in Kansas City. She's of the Kansas City Bantleon. Yes, I, I've been in Kansas City. I lived in uh, Leewood mm -hmm. at 96th and State Line. Very good. My house was built by the Crow Brothers. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's a lot of history in Kansas City. And a friend of mine was talking about tourism and history. Okay. I mean, and if we started treating Topeka like a tourist town, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. if we just treated Topeka like a tourist town, mm -hmm. that would be the best economic development we could do. Mm -hmm. You fix the streets. Mm -hmm. You promote Ward Mead, you were pr promote uh, mm -hmm. Harry Colmer, you mm -hmm. uh, promote Constitution Hall, the post office where Brown versus Board. Yes. You promote. We're so rich in history. Yes. In in many ways, yes. Kansas formed what this country's all about. Absolutely, absolutely. We did. Absolutely. And, and I, sometimes, mm -hmm. see us white boys, mm -hmm. we have to um, prove to the universe that we're Yankees. You know, that we got in there and we fought against. Yes. Because everybody's so resentful. Mm -hmm. The divide between white and black is yes. so, I want, you know, I almost said what I wanted to say, mm -hmm. but it's messed up. Yes. The word I was going to use is F. It starts yes. with an F. Yes. But some of my well, viewers, I'm glad you well, my viewers, uh, some of my, the political, the political people that that my hand, the people that are trying to be my handlers, <laughs> which is an impossible job. No, but I love people that are trying to help me, uh, you know, to get this county commission job. Because they know that once I get in, I'm not going to change. We're going to fight. We're going to make change. And we got to get Shawnee County first. Well, I don't know if I can talk about what I want to You talk can talk about, about whatever can, you want. Okay, well, you gave me a good interlude there. Okay, now. What it, the vision that has came to me since we spoke last? Yes, sir. Is in regard to the problem we have in Topeka. Yes, sir. That they keep talking about. Talk about it. Well, we're talking about the solution right here on Henry Live. I'm gonna. We're gonna. We're gonna. We're gonna. We're gonna the solution. The property that I've been telling you I, that I own. Yeah. What I want to do is. The one that was wrongfully destroyed. Yes, but we won't go into that. All right, well, I got it in. Okay. Let's try to blame it on Karen Hiller so we can replace her. <laughs> I don't have nothing bad to say about Karen. No, I know. Not live. She's a nice lady. Okay. <laughs> Anyhow. I mean, it's really hard. Like, yeah, you, know, you take you Karen know. Hiller all yeah. on her own. Yeah. What a nice lady. She, she, she is. But, uh... You know what we got? We got too many agreeable people. Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, she Absolutely. said she's against it, but Absolutely. Yet, Absolutely. And you know something? Absolutely. She's she's actually a smart lady when it comes to all the numbers. She probably is. Yeah, because she sat up there so long and she's not stupid. Yeah. But she, you know, sometimes it's hard. Uh, they bully her. Some of the people bully her. Well, they'll never bully you, Henry. I'm not afraid of anything, even death. Very good. Yeah, I'm not afraid Very of anything. Good. Very good. I'm not afraid of Calla Haggard over at uh, the bank. Mm -hmm. I'm not afraid of uh, Jim Klossman mm -hmm. because they're, they shouldn't be set in the direction for all the economic development. And if those two are involved with Project Santa Claus, yes. They ought to be held accountable. Absolutely. And I'll tell you what the root problem is, and I'm, I'm not letting you make your point. No, I'm I sorry. Didn't we got, we got, I didn't need 10 minutes. That's the right. root problem is the planning commissions. And this fella named Vic Miller 
basically disbanded the um, Metropolitan Planning Commission. And back when it was a Metropolitan Planning Commission made up of appointments from the county and appointments from the city, and we were the M MPO. Yes, I've heard that term. You got more. Pu you got more of the public involved. So what's happened right. after the disbanding mm -hmm. is the Chamber of Commerce has basically taken on the role, and everything they're trying to do is positive. But what we've done is we put too many eggs in one basket. Well, I want to give you some good news. Here. Yeah, tell to, me the good I news. I want to give you some This good is news. Henry McClure live, the Good News Channel. Now. I'm having fun the, this morning. The, 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 I need some more caffeine. The, um, the problem is, and this is what the Lord has revealed to me. I'm going to give him all the, I'm going to give him all the glory right I'm down with that. I want to give him all the, as we feel the Holy Spirit. We are all here for one thing. And, and, and I, I, I want to say something before I go there. Go there. I was just talking to my barber. And I don't know if you remember the story about the centurion soldier and Jesus. And I, I, I just want to say, the centurion soldier came to Jesus and asked Jesus to heal his, his friend. And Jesus said, yes, I'll come right after I finish with this. And the centurion soldier said, Jesus, you don't have to come. I, I, am, I, I rule over our army. And all I have to do is tell them the word and they'll do it. So Jesus said, Oh, ye. Uh, he said, I have all these other people here, Jews or whoever, and you have great faith. That's not the words he used, that's what I'm using. And Jesus said a word to the centurion soldier's friend, and he was healed. You remember that story? No. <laughs> okay, well. Man, I read the Bible. <laughs> somebody, somebody. No, I did read this. the Bible. <laughs> And it was very dry, <laughs> and it was hard to follow, and I, and, I, that's okay. and I didn't pick it up again. Well, that's okay. That's okay. But I yeah, do, and, and I so do enjoy point, the reading. So my point is, is that that centurion soldier had great faith. And I, I want to say that at some point in time, people like yourself, your dad, had great faith. Now, and I'm going to use myself as an example. I've been blessed with my business, my dad, and I've worked very hard as you have. And I can say that if I don't lose my point, my point right here, <laughs> we'll come back to that a little bit later. But uh, what I'm here to say is, is that a lot of times when the Lord blesses us, we, we, or I see myself again. I get caught up, and I, I'm so happy that I don't realize that, as my wife would tell me, to much given, let me see, make sure I get this right, much is required. Now, is that something, is there something in there about Few people are chosen, and there's there's another thing in there. Okay, well, you have to read more so you can. All right, all right. Next time we come, you can bring it up. So the much who is given, much is required. Right. Are we still live? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We're live. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Okay. You're playing around with the mouse. I'm I was trying to get it. Okay. Try very good. Very good. Okay. Very good. I'm sorry to distract you. No, no problem. Too much is given, much is required. Now. What I'm trying to get to is this, and I'm going to need your support here. On my on the land, I want to now. Is this the new land or the old land? The old land. Okay. The old land. I, you you may not get to the new land. You may not get to the promised land because that's going to take some. It's going to take a lot of great faith on your. Part. I got 65 years ahead of me. Okay, so we're talking about the old land still. 
Okay. We're not talking about the new land. That's that's in the future. On the old land that you know about, uh, because of, were you around with the Peak State Hospital? Well, I got away. I escaped. <laughs> Funny. <laughs> Come on. Well, my parents, both my mom and dad, when they first came to Peak in the 50s, worked there. And uh, you know since the closing of that. You know about the closing of the KMI. And I'm not 100% sure why Menegers left Topeka. I do. I know why. You I wanna, can tell you, you why. Wanna, you want to just, I, I'll shut up for a moment. Now. I'll tell you why. Okay. And it was systematically dismantled from within. And there was actually a real estate developer, I feel, that did it. Mm -hmm. And I knew one of the guys. Um, one of the guys was on the planning commission mm -hmm. with me. So Joan Wagner appointed me to the planning commission. Mm -hmm. And um, it was a terrible, it was a terrible job mm -hmm. because everybody thought you were on the take. Mm -hmm. And I never got a bag of money, mm -hmm. but I sure got accused of being paid off. Mm -hmm. I remember this one miserable guy uh, had all these resentments, yelled at me and hated me. And uh, over something and yeah. all I did was meet with a guy and hear about the cell tower, but you know, it was a thankless job. Mm -hmm. And um, anyhow, you come back to that. Well, so no, so uh, what they did is they tore buildings down so it wouldn't qualify to be a li alive and well. Mm -hmm. okay. So it couldn't get it couldn't qualify. So from within, they dismantled it because the guy had a vision of grandeur of developing it. And that's a fact, Jack. Okay. Now, my vision is to build a building on that land. Many girls are back on your building. On my, my land. Okay. To where we can begin to help with that problem that we're talking about. Uh, and I don't have the business. You plan. mean the mental, Ill, it, yeah, mentally that, ill that, people? That, that is correct. That is correct. They are the homelessness. A lot of them are homeless too. And it won't be a profitable as far as, um, you know, we look at it as profit. But it will be doing God's work. You know what I want to do? Yes, sir. You know where that building ought to be? Mm -hmm. I'd like to put my time and energy mm -hmm. to work with. Uh, Michaela, who owns the um, big white hotel next to the jail. Okay. Okay. I really do. I think I think there's a way. See, I don't think you can just give housing to people and cure them. Well, I agree with that. I agree what with I that. think's most important as a drug addict is there's some people that want to quit on their own. Yes. And if you can at least have a half a win and showing up. Yes. If they can walk in and have yes. services. Yes. Now there's some people yes. that don't deserve to go to jail yes. for stupidity. Yes. You know, there's certain well, Hey, wait a minute. Wait, well, yeah. Yeah. But uh, I mean like with alcohol, I you know, I see I think alcohol's the gateway drug. I was I was telling this to a friend of mine that used to own a bar and operate a bar, and I was talking to her about Aren't you just happier not even being around that business? And like, and I'll tell you, when I owned the College Hill Pizza Pub, mm -hmm. I could actually be in the bar business sober mm -hmm. because like, hey, I know how to make a drink. Mm -hmm. And let, let, let me tell you, the, um, the um, third shift from Frito-Lay used to come into Pizza Pub. I'd get them tuned up. You know, I knew how to do it. I mean, I drove a couple of people home after... <laughs> Because, like, I start pouring the crown. Now, is this the Henry McClure comedy show? Or we, or what? No, it's the truth. <laughs> well, don't get me wrong. I love to laugh. Uh, but see, I, this I, is I, the I, fact. I That's it. where, I, I, see, I can tell the truth I, I, about yeah. it. Yeah. Because that was another day. That was Henry 1.0. <laughs> okay, very good. And Henry 2.0 knows that, hey, you get a, you get a couple of, Shots of liquor, you smoke some weed, maybe do a line of cocaine, whatever. Mm -hmm. 
you get loosened up and you start making bad decisions. Mm -hmm. But let's say you're mentally ill and have some of that same stuff going on. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe you don't deserve to go to jail. It's almost like Otis in Mayberry. You know, he knew he had too much to drink, mm -hmm. didn't want to go home to his wife, mm -hmm. so he'd go check himself in jail. Yes. So I think if you had a facility, mm -hmm. you got that huge hotel there, mm -hmm. and you could provide... They were talking about the other day about having a one-stop shop mm -hmm. for mm -hmm. all the the uh, services. I was watching that. Did you see the homeless thing on city council? Yes, I did. Yeah, so remember they were talking about having... On TV. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think uh, Carrie Higgins, mm -hmm. like to get her on the show, mm -hmm. um, but she was talking about how if you go over here... You get on the bus, and it's it takes all this time just to get one thing. And so if you have, like, a one-stop shop for the oh, services. Oh, wonderful. Yeah, so you wonderful. put that in the wonderful. first floor mm -hmm. of the mm -hmm. of that hotel. Okay. Okay. And maybe some of the people live upstairs. Well, it sounds like you're on board, Henry. Well, you just got to get to know me. I'm not just another pretty face. This ain't a comedy show. Okay, but really good. <laughs> because I love to laugh. My, my wife loves it. Well, laughter is the best medicine. Absolutely. And I think sometimes I make too many jokes. Oh, no. Not for me. Today. Well, I think sometimes I pick on people. But in my family, if you weren't getting picked on, they didn't like that you. That was my family. Yeah. Remember what you said when we first met? Well, let's see. We were... I walked out said, after the you, county you commission. Said that we're brothers from different mothers, <laughs> and we're gonna stay with we're gonna stay with that. But you want to know why I got you here in the studio today? No, sir. Because I want you to run for uh, either the Senate or the state house. There's three locations. Yes. There's three spots open up yes. on the Republican ticket. Yes. And can I tell you something? What this lady told me the other day? Yes. I called her Henry McClure. Yes. I, this Henry McClure lot. No. I said, hi, I'm Henry McClure. I'm running for District 2 County Commissioner. Yes. And I just wanted to talk to you about what's important to you coming up, upcoming election. Yes. She says, that you're a Republican. Yes. She goes, we're voting the Republican ticket this year. We got to have change. Yes. So what's gone on? What's going on? You're not. We're not getting the truth of what's going on in Washington. What's if a guy is feeble and old and can't stand trial? How can he be the president? And what I'm talking about is lawfare. And maybe what we need here is a little more lawfare. Oh, uh, that's water. Oh, everybody, everybody thinks I'm drunk all the time anyway. Fine. It's none of their business. Well, I'm not looking too bad for you. Man. You know, God uh, God decided I was going to be sober. It wasn't me. <laughs> you're, you're, you're a good man, Henry. Well, thanks. And I think, I'm not 100% sure, but I believe that you, you are... Well, I came back down to earth from an experience that was second to none. Very good. Yeah, and you know, if I tell if I told somebody a seraphim angel yanked my soul out of my body mm -hmm. and then I saw I was uh like Scrooge. It was like I had to see all my transgressions. Well, well the thing, Henry, if I may, is that if you've never been through nothing in life, you see what I'm going for? If you've never had any experiences in life, you know? Well, no, no, so you can't argue with me what happened. <laughs> and the people that knew drunk Henry? Yes, yes. It's the same Henry, yes. just not on alcohol or yes. weed or whatever. Yeah, well, people... When we ask Jesus for forgiveness, he forgives all, all of us our sins. And what did he tell them? What did he tell the lady that they wanted to throw the stones at? 
he told the lady, they, they had brought her to the courts, and they wanted, they wanted to stone her to death because she had all these different men. I know you knew that story, that she was messing with. <laughs> and Jesus said, Ye who be without sin cast the first man, stone. Brother? Hey, look, I live in a glass, <laughs> I live in a glass house. So, yeah. so I've thrown a lot of so, stones. So, so I believe Topeka and my carpet cleaning experiences, I believe has a lot of good people here. And so if we can bring the spirit of the Lord to the forefront and have the faith, if I can have the faith, you've got the faith that appears. If I can have the faith, then we can make a difference in our the rest of our in the rest of our you're a little older than I am, a couple of years. July thirteenth, nineteen fifty nine. Yeah, sixty one. Uh, I won't I won't Yeah, tell respect the date. your elders. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I won't tell the date because there's so many hackers out there. Uh, so anyhow. Well I'm when just... they hack I <laughs> <laughs> Just so, as long as you don't know my Charles, <laughs> Charles Schwab account. <laughs> well, the only one that knows that's my daughter. Yeah, well, they will try to get to that. So anyhow, uh, that's the change well, I believe we need, not only locally, but in Washington. You know, it was so funny. This guy that's a county commissioner, his name's Aaron Mays. And he locked us down, made us wear masks. Mm -hmm. I personally had a run-in with him over a real estate deal. Mm -hmm. And I've got resentments against that. I introduced him to the house he lives in. Mm -hmm. And I did it, hoping I'd get a commission. But mm -hmm. the, um, the buyer and the seller did the deal on their own. So be it. You, I, you know, I did it all in good faith. Thought it was a handshake. And I didn't get the commission. Very good. But, but you did get me. Yeah. And I'm going to tell you like Well, let, let me finish ahead, about Aaron ahead, Mays real ahead, quick. Brett Blackburn is running against Aaron Mays now. He threw his hat in the ring. But Aaron Mays, like, he doesn't qualify to go to Washington. He doesn't qualify to sit in the council uh, at, 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 at the commission. Yeah, I don't know about the guy. Aaron Mays is a that. nice guy. No, He's a great good. guy. He's a family man. Very good. Hard to hate. Right, very good. You know, really deep down. And I don't hate Aaron Mays. Very good. But business wise, I butted heads with him. He's his his right now his uh he encroaches on private property, but the owner allows it. You remember you met Dana Kay. Yes, yes, yes. Well, Dana owned half that land at a time. And I was told by him to put everybody on notice, the encroachers, to get the hell off the land. Very good. Because then what happens to guys like that? Well, it becomes theirs, you know? Mm -hmm. They think they start having more rights than they have. Then I started talking to him about extending Skyline Drive and attaching it all up in Summerfield. Mm -hmm. And he, he, oh, there's going to be a lot of people that fight that. Well, yeah, of course. And listen to this. Yes, sir. They just got all new pavement for the whole Summerfield subdivision. And Neil Dobler was bragging about the fact that uh, he did that 36 years ago. Now, I don't know if he did it as, uh, as uh, uh, head of public works. I don't know if he did it when he was an engineer because I just don't know Neil Dobler's resume that well. But what pisses me off more than anything is that the rich subdivision is getting all the mill and overlays and all the new. Mm -hmm. And then I live down on 5th Street, mm -hmm. and my road is highly trafficked. Mm -hmm. I mean, all the cop cars go get their uh, gas at the card lock down there with Capitol. Mm -hmm. The fire stations, the fire trucks. So there's that section of road that the uh, mm -hmm. our our police cars are getting beat up on, yeah. and the fire trucks and all the uh, all the uh, machinery. What, what, what you're hate to but what you're talking about is a change in the city of Topeka, Henry. 
when you speak of running and you speak of me of running, you're talking about a change. Yeah. Yeah. We got to start doing stuff for the taxpayers. I don't know what that was. <laughs> we got stuff dinging and donging. Okay. I want to get it to where somebody can call in. Okay. I can't see that. See, I want to get that down there. Yeah, well. well see, I want to. Oh, crap. See, it went away. Yeah, we need to have, we need to have that text. Thing. I got to I got to get the technology going. Yeah, we've, got the, we've got the technology right here. We can, we can, we can see, I want to get it to where. Here. Let's, uh, let's see if we can. Let's see if we can get this working. Hello? I don't know. Can you hear us? Maybe I don't have the speaker on. Hello? I have my glasses. So I don't either. I think I've got some outside. I'll be right back. Can you, you want to try to do that now or later? You, you can do whatever you want. Okay. I don't. Maybe the guy doesn't want to talk. Let me get some glasses. Let me see. Got that. Maybe I got the volume off. All right. We're still getting some technical difficulties uh, going on with the phone. Um, and the the apparatus here of all the, of the machine. Well, so the whole goal here is to. You know, through Braille here, I'm trying to get the trial and error of going on um, of how to make all this work. So I don't even know if I got anybody watching. But I wanted to call Brett Blackburn, see if I could get him live on the show. The Hey, did you get a phone call for me on the other line? Yeah, I did. I was, she evidently weren't hearing me. No, I couldn't hear you. I don't, I don't know what's going on. Hey, did you know you're live on the Henry McClure live show? I guess I do now. Well, just, do um, you want to announce your candidacy officially to the uh, my viewers? Um, I guess if you already didn't do it, but I'm running for District 3, District 3 County Commission. All right. Well, um, I know this is all impromptu, but I wanted to, I got James Bolden Jr. in here. He's on the show. And um, we just wanted to wish you good luck. Well, thanks. I'm right now I'm out the farm doing some work. All right. Well, we'll let you get back at it, and thanks for taking my call. Well, appreciate it. We'll do something a little more planned in the future. Okay. Let's say hi to James for me. All right. You just did. Who is that? That's Blackie. Oh, Mr. Blackburn. Yes, sir. Hey. Pleasure, pleasure. Pleasure's all mine, sir. Yeah, that's good. I'll, I'll see you. All okay. right, buddy. I'll have to see you in person. Okay, so uh, he could hear us, but um, I don't know we what was going him. on. Well, we, as you say, we may have turned the speakers. I got to get all this going. Something. Well, we'll work on that after the show. Yeah, yeah. All right, so they've got... Um, here, let's see if I can pull it up down here. Maybe you can read it. Here, pull that screen up a little closer to us. 
Oh, all right. All right. Well, anyway, um, that's for another day. Yeah, that's another day. So let's get back. Let, let's dad. talk about your dad. Okay, what do you want to know? I want to know, um, I want to know about his involvement with the Republican Party. Well, he had a big involvement with the Republican Party. The last thing that I can remember was uh, they had spoke about uh, and this is a hot topic. Uh, and I'm not a hundred percent. Let's see. Uh, it talked about the bathrooms, kind of what um, the Attorney General Pine is speaking about now. The bathrooms. The Republican Party was speaking about uh, the agenda with the, the Democrats when it came. Here, to, can you uh, pull up a little? Oh, I got. You're out of the picture. Okay. I didn't know if you wanted to see me. Yeah, I do. Uh, well, I don't, but the viewers do. Well, okay. <laughs> uh, the topic, one of the topics, and I'm going to just talk two topics, uh, with the Republican Party, he spoke when they had an issue, and when we had the country had the issue with the bathrooms. Oh, you uh, mean white and black bathrooms? No. Oh. The gay. Oh. The gay folks. And why do they need a separate bathroom? Well, the Democrats was uh, is that somebody that I don't know, somebody here. I heard something. Well, there's that could be the back door. Okay, the Democrats was referring to uh, <clears throat> uh, the, 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 the gay issue, and uh, <clears throat> father would tell them, uh, father would tell them, Henry. Uh, he, he would quote to them the Bible. Always. My father was very biblical. He was a very biblical man. His dad was a pastor. Really? Yes. Now, what kind of, I mean, uh, Christian, but what? Yes. Like Baptist? Baptist or, okay. Yes. yes. And um, uh, so my dad would, one of, the, one of the other things that my dad talked about um, and we need, and this is very important. Um, and a lot of viewers are not going to like to hear this that are Republicans. Uh, because you say it needs to change. We're not here to. Yes. Let's just talk about the truth. Yes. And when my dad spoke, he spoke quite a bit to the party as a whole. And his last speaking engagement was in Kansas City. And he told him to use their own God-given common sense. And from what he told me, a lot of, a lot of his the black constituents would say that I'm wrong. But I told him, this is, my, this is what my dad told me. He said, the Republican Party always uh, um, had an open arm to my dad. And they do. But when it came to them voting for this uh, president, ex-president Trump, he told me, use your own God-given common sense. And he told me they boo him for telling them that. But my father was a man, was a stand-up guy. So you believe your dad voted for Trump? No. I don't believe he voted for Trump. But the Republican Party, you know, as a whole did. Just like the lady now that ran for president is now turned around and says she votes for Trump. Uh, my dad. Oh, uh, Holly. No, the the woman that ran for president. You mean Hillary? No, the other woman that ran for uh, Republican Party for president. Yeah, she turned. I thought her name was Haley. Haley. Yeah, you said Holly. Haley. Haley. Yes. Uh, my you know, dad, and she has. She's got like twenty per, twenty six percent popularity. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. She'd probably make a good vice president. Yeah. Well. Uh, and, and the only thing, what you I think the girl up in South Dakota would have, if she wouldn't have killed her dog, she'd be in the running. Yes, sir. And the only thing, and when I mean, you indicated for me to run, I want to share the example of when my dad wanted to run for Senate. Uh, my dad was a self made man, basically. He was one of those men that was gifted 
and worked very hard. So when he wanted to run for Senate, he told me, and it was a lie he told us, that they told him he did not have a college education and the Republican Party would not allow him to run. That's messed up. Yeah. Because he would have been great. Because he, was a, he, he would have been for the people. Henry Ford didn't have a college degree. <laughs> <laughs> and I think he makes a good car. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> There's a guy Good named. Point, Henry. There's a guy named. There's a comedian that I like, Ron White. You ever hear that guy? No, I'm not familiar. With he Ron. goes, man, I'm a smart guy. I just can't prove it on paper. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah. So that that that. Can that, I talk about Trump for a minute? Yes, yes. Because I don't think he's the end all when mm -hmm. it comes to humans. All right. Okay. Hey, maybe somebody wants to be live. Well, I'm gonna turn this off. And I'm talking I about, spam calls. I want him to be president, and I intend on voting for him. Okay. But as a real estate guy, mm -hmm. I'll put Mace Siegel and Dana K. Anderson mm -hmm. in the Mace Rich Company mm -hmm. over mm -hmm. Trump and his organization when it comes to real estate deals. Okay. You know, um, Trump knows all about New York mm -hmm. and how to develop in New York. Mm -hmm. And uh, when I first got with Mace Rich, I worked for a guy mm -hmm. named Henry Nathan Sims. He's a Phoenix. I, I don't know. Is it? Do I got one hanging? Uh, it might be hair. I, <laughs> I haven't used that one yet. I haven't Excuse used that me. It was for me. But... Anyway. Yeah, you got it. Henry yeah. Nathan. Yeah, good now. Henry Nathan used to work for Rich Cohen in New York, and they were New, they were New York developers, and they were building an office building. Yes, sir. And Henry Nathan told me he'd go to work every day mm -hmm. with five thousand dollars in one hundred dollar bills. Yes, sir. And here it's like he just hand them out mm -hmm. to the cop to let the truck come in. Yes. You know to block a little traffic for him. A yes. hundred. You know all that. Yes. The inspectors, uh, the union guy, whoever, mm -hmm. and that's how you pay to play. If you're going to build in New York City, yes, and yes. Uh, mm -hmm. and, and that's what the left hates about Trump is mm -hmm. he had to pay him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I quit giving, I quit donating money to politicians mm -hmm. uh, after College Hill mm -hmm. didn't work out for me financially. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It it just it was a the 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 city backed the bonds. And it was the full faith and credit of the city, but they still, the city still wanted to blame Henry McClure for it because I talked him into it. Mm -hmm. But Jerry Farley talked him into it. Mm -hmm. And it was a great project. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you just, we took the Washburn housing program mm -hmm. and just executed it. Mm -hmm. We did the plan. Mm -hmm. But uh, what I'm telling you is May Siegel was a tie salesman in Macy's after World War II, got a broker's license, mm -hmm. and they built the third largest mall owner in the country by making deals. So so you say you would vote for Trump because what is it that you actually... Well, I, so I'll i vote for Trump because he's a businessman. Mm -hmm. and It benefits you? or what, what No, it benefits the public. Okay. okay. It benefits everybody okay. because he's done well in business. Whether well, you don't like, I don't care if you don't like his TV show, uh -huh. and I don't care if you don't like him because he's rich. Well, no, 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 no. But, but um, I don't, it's, it's like the difference between uh, Karen Hiller well, as, and Trump, well, okay? Do you want people that have come from the government and the not-for-profit world? Mm -hmm. It doesn't take common sense. Mm -hmm. I mean, you don't, Trump's got more, he's got more street. He's got more street common sense. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes we just say stupid stuff. Mm -hmm. And sometimes we're human. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, so I'm going to vote for Trump because he's a businessman. Okay. I'm yeah. telling you, I learned real estate mm -hmm. from better real estate guys than him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But my guys aren't running for president. Yes, yes. And 
And the reason, well, the problem I have with Donald, if I may, um, is the fact that I think he's, he's got some good ideas, and I think that he's done some good things. However, Were you better off four years ago? I'm sorry? Were you better off four years ago? No, I, the, Lord is, the Lord blesses me. I've, I've been but do you think the country was better off four years ago with gas prices and everything? Well, four or five years ago, um, the gas prices come and go. Um, the, the the thing about it, what uh, Donald has said about, I don't know, you probably never heard it, but he talked about those shitholes countries in Africa, and I don't think that's appropriate for the president to talk like that. Um, and, and 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 that is one example there. Um, they're human beings. They deserve to have respect. Uh, Shithole was not one of his best. Yeah, yeah, that 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 was that was. Okay, so let's just change the subject yeah, for a second. Okay, pro, okay, and you know what I want to say? I, I got it out. So no, no, no. One thing. Mm -hmm. You know what the worst thing that I hate about Biden? Yes. Is that he's not giving Robert F. Kennedy Jr. Secret Service protection. Oh, I see. Well, when it comes to President Biden... Well, no, hang on a second ahead, here. Let's ahead, not just ahead. skip over that. No, go ahead. Go ahead. RFK Jr. is a contender. Okay. Whether you like him or not, he's hard to understand with his voice. About, I don't know much about him. Well, do you know that his uncle and dad got killed and assassinated? No, I didn't. Yeah. His dad got assassinated... Now is he with John? Is he family with John F. Kennedy? That's his uncle. That's his uncle. Okay, very good, very good. And our John F. Kennedy, for for right, wrong, or indifferent, you know, he got killed because he wanted to audit the Fed. Okay. You know, the Fed. Yeah, the Federal Reserve, the, the central federal banking Reserve. system. Well, do you want to talk about that a little bit? The Federal Reserve. Well, yeah, it's like, like I. What we've done is we've turned the Greater Topeka Partnership like into the Fed. They're controlling too much of our tax dollars, but it's differently. It's 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 a it's a bad analogy, but um, so I if you want to talk about the Fed, I'm not that smart about it. Well, but let roll. Me, let me let me say let me say this. There's a film out there by Matt Damon called The Inside Job. Oh, man, I just watched it. Did you just watch it? Yeah. What did you think about that? Well, it's a crime what's going on. Do you think about this? If you think about The Inside Job, mm -hmm. think about the fact that Putin is the only one without a central bank. Mm -hmm. He's got his own monetary system. Mm -hmm. And that's why they hate him so much. They can't control him monetarily. Oh, I see. I see. Very good. Very good. Now. But yeah, that was a that was a great. Yeah. Now, what the, I, the banking business. Mm -hmm, go ahead. It, the bankers. It's so corrupt, <laughs> and we just keep bailing them out. We keep bailing them out. Well, well, no, and I was I was way affected by Dodd Frank mm -hmm. because. Um, when I was broke, I just used to go out and buy something. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I could walk in mm -hmm. and finance it 100% mm -hmm, mm -hmm. because the real estate deals I made cash flowed. Okay. And the bankers would look at me and they go, man, why don't you find me a deal like that? Yeah. And I could, uh, I could make a commission. I could pull cash out. Mm -hmm. It cash flowed. Yes. So when I was broke, I'd just go buy something. Yes. And then what Dodd-Frank didn't even regulate... Uh, Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac, which caused the whole problem. Mm -hmm. And the derivatives, have you seen the movie The Big Short? I didn't see that. I oh, man. The Big see, Short. I'll it's the, it there's two movies you got to watch to follow up on. Uh, I'll, get, I'll them get them to you. I'll get them to you. In fact, we ought to watch them together. We'll, put, we'll have movie night on Henry <laughs> McClure Live. <laughs> hey, we'll get jacked up on caffeine and smoke cigars. <laughs> But the big short mm -hmm. is a guy that found that that saw how the uh, uh, housing market was propped up all on 
on on bad loans. Oh. And so, and this dude went out and read all the mortgages. Well, we know something about that. That that there, I believe, the bad loan. But so what they did was they took they created the mortgage backed security. Mm -hmm. And after a while, after you've got all the mortgage back mm -hmm. securities, mm -hmm. there's only so many mortgages out there, right? Mm -hmm. So then they took uh, tranche A and tranche B and created tranche C. Mm -hmm. Well, and it's just pieces of the same mortgage. Mm -hmm. And then, then like in the inside job, mm -hmm. where they started making all the uh, subprime loans mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then putting them into the tranches, mm -hmm. And the whole thing was built on a house of cards, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So uh, the big short mm -hmm. is, uh, and then and then see the big short ties Paulson mm -hmm. into the inside job, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. bailing him out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So when he's the uh, secretary did, did of the have, treasury, what did they have to bail out though? In the inside, they job? bailed out all the bad loans that they were making. Well. Uh, so they were selling all these CDOs mm -hmm. and uh, the mortgage banking industry, mm -hmm. these derivatives that they were selling. Well, well, there was a little bit more to it, if I may add. And I could be wrong, and you correct me here. because I don't, I'm don't. i not the you, end you, all here. Yeah, yeah you, you're a little bit more knowledgeable in that kind of stuff. The only reason but I what, know it affected me because I couldn't make money anymore. Yes. So uh, what, what I seen was through the deregulation. Oh, yeah, Reagan did that. Mm -hmm. Well, that's what my wife said. But that's, but that's maybe been what it started at. It did. It started, and that's that was a mistake. Well, that's what my wife said, so she's probably right if you said she's right. Okay. But through the deregulation, uh, because my father, my father had a credit union at that time, and uh, uh, they closed him down because Dr. Parks' uh, clients were bringing monies in from other banks. Their clients were leaving their banks and bringing money into their union. And that's why they closed my father's credit union. So Dr. Parks was ahead. They, they told him to get rid of Dr. Parks, but they didn't give him a reason. So they Dr. Parks left. And so they, they continued. They came back. They did an audit. They said everything looks good. So they brought Dr. Parks back. And when they brought Dr. Parks back, they closed him down. Anyhow, the deregulation of the banks, in my opinion, is what caused uh, they were the banks were able to take you and I, uh, if we had an account, and all these regulations were created after the Great Depression. That's correct. For this reason, so it wouldn't yes. happen again. But they deregulated them. They took, um, and this is my opinion, of course, uh, to the viewers. Uh, they took your savings accounts and checkings accounts, and they put them in the stock market. And they made, some of them, they made a lot of money. And if you remember the first part of that, they gave their uh, son a billion dollars to go and do what he wanted to do. So by them uh, deregulating them, they gave the bankers the opportunity to do what they did. Well, the... Um, I could be wrong, but that, no, that's, I, where, that's I, the way I see it. Well, so like, if you really try to look at this from from ten thousand feet, is now what they do is they just print more money oh, yeah. to solve the problem, to where we still have enough money to go buy some groceries at inflated prices, yeah. and they, you know, we have just turned in the American people have just turned into worker bees mm -hmm. for the system. We have, yeah. and um, it's the middle class that holds up, right? And we're the guy. We got to get the, the Henry the, McClure, the street commissioner. We got to get streets put in, not just for the rich folk. That's correct. And um, so the whole money thing at this level, mm -hmm. you know, I, I like some of these guys. This one guy was telling that. Of all the money printed, 40% of it has been in the last 12 months. Mm -hmm. And uh, who runs the world are the BlackRock, you know, the CEOs of... of uh, yeah, I don't know who those guys are, but... Well, we, we ought to... I mean, we can delve into it. Do you think that um, 
helping the mentally ill and the homeless, do you think that's economic development? <sighs> well, I, I, no, question. no, okay. I don't. Okay. But uh, okay, okay. Uh, is it is is it economic development well, not to have for, homeless for, camps for, 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 for the public to see? For, for, for my definition, the is it a, is it an obligation is, is to social, us to our fellow man? Absolutely, by the Lord. Yes. Okay, fine. So, absolutely. What do you say? Uh, yes. I do. So we agree on something here. Yeah, but I don't. I mean, you can make any. You could say anything's economic development. Absolutely. Just look at Molly Howie's Very list good. That's of gifts. That's what I was trying to get to, right? Yeah, there. Molly. That's what I was Project trying to Santa get to. Claus. It's, it's a, it's, oh well, that's yeah. economic development. That's so correct. What yes. they've done. What that's they've correct. done is a body politic. Mm -hmm. Is they're going to give all this money away to all these yes. other people yes. because then Henry McClure looks like an idiot. Yeah. For being against them. Now, how we, could you be against economic development? We yes. gave that money to those people. Yes. Now, the day you showed up at JADO, the last JADO board meeting we had, the day you showed up, uh, the county attorney was speaking. I like Rich Eckert. Okay. I don't know him. And what he spoke of was. Actually, his birthday's coming up. Okay, you know him very well. <laughs> but I'm not going to, I don't have anything bad to say anybody. I'm just stating the facts as I know them. Now, when he showed up, he was able to, if you were there when he shook, when he talked, were you there when he spoke? No, I got there you late because I went over to the law enforcement so let center. You, let me tell you what uh, I took from his, uh, his speech. He talked about socially economic disadvantage business is the, or, I'm sorry, socially economic disadvantage is the language that is used in today's uh, in today's uh, today's it is used today. Now, in the ordinance that the county commissioner Vic Miller and I think Joan Wagner may have been there too, they created that we would have ten percent for black businesses. Now, in talking to my lawyer, uh, she had indicated that the Constitution. Uh, that we all have different interpretations. See, what did Martin Luther say? Judge not a man by the color of his skin, but his character. Amen, brother. And and then glory, hallelujah. I want to say that right now, because you understood that and you remember that. But yet we don't want to follow his teachings. Why? Exactly. We won't say it. It's control. Is that what it is? Yeah, there. They, um, we've got too many eggs in one basket at the Greater Topeka Partnership, and a friend of mine was trying to say, and look, I was by Matt Pavarnak the other day out at the Riverfront thing, and I could feel a sadness. I could just feel sadness. We want to make them happy again. Well, no, yeah, I do. I do. I'd and, like, and by this project I'm referring to. Well, the fact that the his, his sadness, I could feel his sadness, because I don't hate Matt Pavarnak. I Very sold good. him his house. <laughs> <laughs> made good money on Matt. Well, you made good money. You made some money there. And right? I don't want to make my next money on him by him leaving town. Okay. But I do. A friend of mine said, well, that Matt created this. You know, of pooling all the entities together as uh, as kind of like a uh, uh, a template of how to do it. But I don't think I don't think there's enough transparency. So let's say that I've just looked for a little while and I find a lot of inconsistencies with the way Go Topeka's run. Mm -hmm. And it's all for my own selfish reasons. <laughs> First, it was all about development. But now I snap as a citizen that there's a $16.5 million shortfall for the roads. And then the fact that I live in the heart of Topeka, right across from Amtrak, and one of the wor worst roads is there. Well, therein lies the whole problem. So... It's not about Henry McClure having a good road, which I want. 
but the citizens of Topeka let me, let me, deserve a better road. Let, let me ask you something. Go ahead. I talk too in, much. Bringing in Mars and bringing in the businesses, you were there, they're bringing in more businesses. They gave him $1.4 million to bring in another business. Remember, right? You see, you was yeah, you can, and, and how do you say that's bad? Well, this this is not bad, but let me say this, if I may. Do we do we have the housing for those people? Well, here's the point. Well, let me, let me finish here. Okay, go. Here. Because I want you to think on that, because this is where this new idea that I'm ready to bring to you is going to come in at. Do we Are you have gonna enough? announce this on our my show? We, we, we've done it all. Well, no, not not the not not where it's not at. the real idea. Not yeah, we have to go a little bit further. Okay, uh, before we off can, camera. Before I can, uh, before I can, uh, before we can go there. But point I want you to see and the viewers to see. Yes, bringing in jobs is fine. But my wife wants another house. She's I've been living uh, in my mobile home, and she's not happy with that. So I know for You know what fact, I worry about? You living in that mobile see. home? Okay, go ahead. Uh, so there, when you try to buy a house in Topeka now, you have two or three offers you're bidding with. We're not going to play no bidding war. You see where I'm at? Yeah. You're probably not there yet. There's a bidding war with housing right now. Are, are you? Would you agree with that? Or do you know I, about Or do you know yeah, about Yeah, I think so. Okay. I hear all about it. Okay, now is that the way it's supposed to be? I'm trying to get Henry McClure and his his uh, enchilon, uh to where we can build more houses, so we don't have this. You can't keep bringing in jobs, but you can't have people like our deputy mayor fighting subdivisions in neighborhoods that have should have subdivisions. That's correct. You can't have a sitting council person <laughs> We're sit there and fight. We're in agreement. And and Craig McCullough, who ran against her, wanted to, uh, his whole saying, he wanted to say, stop the stupid. Yes. And I said, no, uh, and, don't and, use that. And you have land across. I've seen some of your So signs. that land up on Rochester so Road. So building houses? And listen to this. The damn $16.5 <laughs> <million> shortfall <laughs> is going to inhibit that land from getting a new road. That's the that's 60 that's the that's Rochester Roads that's on the list. It's unbelievable. So here's what what about the guys that went out and bought the land because it was on the list? What I'm trying to say is Are you hearing what I'm saying? Not really. Uh, because it's over So no, my hang head. on. So you I'm No, 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 no. This you, is not over your head. You're training me to become No, a no, no. You already are a developer. Okay. It's on LinkedIn. <laughs> so look, and you've already made a deal with Dana. <laughs> you're already buddies with him. <laughs> okay. So, Go you ahead. look at the list that was on the ballot. The list? The list of roads. It's on the ballot. The ballot. The ballot when we voted to uh, give the economic development yeah, money. Yeah, 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 I don't know. Oh, I'm going to show it to you. Okay, very good. So, a guy goes out and looks at the list. Huh. That's where they're going to build some roads in the future. Okay. So, you look at the list. Okay, I'll follow you now. And you go, well, wait a minute. I'm going to go buy that land yes. now yes. because it's going to get a new road. Well, that's what an uh, intelligent and a, a uh, that's what an intelligent man would do. And I've done that before. And I think I Craig McCullough property. is intelligent. And, and I brought my property. And Craig exactly. McCullough ought to be our, he ought to be our uh, city uh, manager. Okay. Very good. Very good. He's a smart guy. Well, it's like Dana told you. Let's go talk to the one that's coming in. Let's see where he's at. Let's not, you know, let's, let's, let's like Dana told you. you, 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 you I listened to him. You whether, listened to him, right? It, it, what doesn't, what did Dana tell it doesn't look like. Because I was right there when he told you. We was having breakfast. Yes. And he was right there. What did he tell you? We'll go meet with him. <laughs> okay, very good. And me and you and I can go. Yeah. If you, if, you, if you allow me to be in your presence. Oh, what do you mean? Okay. So uh, you go out and you buy the land because it's on the list. Yes. Now there's a sixteen and a half million dollar shortfall to fix that road, and during the process, the city council person for that district fights you tooth and nail, and she call, calls it a so, debacle. So are you telling me it takes sixteen point five million to be, build the road? No, I'm talking about. 
They are short 16. Why are they short? Because we got to do an accounting of where all the money's going with Jetto. Well, let's get busy. Let's get busy. And I'm going to write a letter to the accountant. And this is what we need to do. Now, now, we need to, now, now, we now, need, now, now, now hang on. We need to, the board of directors, it's not Matt and Molly's fault. It's the board of directors. It's like when Wittick was on uh, the energy company yeah, he, oh, flying he around. Yeah, my dad had and the plane. rats that jumped ship that were on the board. It's the board of directors' responsibility. Okay, no problem. And I'm going to hold the board of directors responsible of the chamber and go to Pika. And, and I'm going to lose my... Oh, before I lose my chain of thought, I'm going to spit this out there. Hey, and now, I'm sorry I'm yelling so much to you well, guys on the TV. Well, and, and I am too. <laughs> but we're, we're excited. Uh, here. You see the, the, my chain. Now, let me spit this out. And you might not like it, but you go live. My attorney indicated that the attorney general should be a part of that. What you're oh, talking man. about? Oh man, we got to get Kobach involved. Well, and we got to well, get what I we got to get KG involved. Well, what because I, if they're not, are if you the, friends with Kobach too? Yeah. Okay. Because uh, I don't think he'll get involved. But go ahead. I'm done. Go you're ahead. not done. You're a developer. Hey, look. Look at from the as a developer now, you know standpoint. What I'm about hang involved on, with. yeah, I got you. Okay, I won't say nothing else. Now, now, wheel back in. Look at you're out of the picture. Well, I don't, I don't need. Come to... on, just scoot your chair up. Well, then you can sit back. Okay. I'm gonna have to buy you another chair, Henry. Here, I got other chairs. Yeah, I'm gonna have to just wheel it around. Wheel it I mean, around. It's, it's too comfortable. I mean, I need to. I need to. I need to. You want a hardback chair to sit in? Well, let's try it. Here, I got that yeah, caption well, chair right there. Let's try it like this first. It is comfortable. I don't All know. right, well, just All back right. it up against the yeah, wall. I want to talk about your chair here. Uh, I don't do good. I don't look good on camera. I don't look very good on camera. Here. That's why. why? <laughs> I don't know why. I just don't. I think you're full of. You're, you're, you look fine. I'm well, glad to have you, you on well, my show. Okay. Well, thank you. Our show. Well, thank you. Okay, so let's just back up. You're new to the development business, right? Yes, yes. But you went out and you looked at this list that the voters voted for, right? And on that list, there's all these roads. Well, so you know in your heart, well, it's going to get better. The land's going to yes. get better yes. around new roads or yes. better roads. Yes. And that was what the whole economic development money was voted on in the beginning mm -hmm. was to have more shovel-ready land mm -hmm. because it would make people want to live here. And the whole idea was to grow the population and increase the tax base. And that is what it hasn't done. So my resentments against the whole plan... So you got Molly out there... You've got um, the board of directors. you got the board of directors of Go Topeka telling the minions and the lackeys what to do. Well, you said, Henry, everybody has an agenda, but, 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 but I don't want to sneak in here and say sneak it in. that if you, if you were a part of that or if I was a part of that, they would allow us to be a part of that. I would make a suggestion, and maybe the suggestion here might do it, is that we develop the housing along with the jobs. Now, instead of giving them $7,500 to bring them here, take that money and help develop housing there. Come to Henry, which is a developer. Or you. Well. Make it to where everybody, it can't be about me. <laughs> It can't be about no. Henry. It can't be about Henry McClure okay. because they hate me here. Okay, well you they've heard... already discriminated against me. <laughs> well, you heard it live here on Henry McClure. Uh, I'm saying that I know Henry as a developer. Henry's got a track record that I know of. And you know what? I like my track record better with Dana Kay than Topeka. Well, all I'm saying is I'm. I'm all I'm saying is. Listen to this man. Uh, you know, I borrowed a million dollars from Callahaggard's bank, paid him back, 
Yeah. And then the guy running the bank never would make another deal with me. Yeah. I mean, because I did when we told all the line. Made, we've all made mistakes. But through those mistakes, we learn something. We have to quit holding people down because they made a mistake. Forgiveness is what Jesus Christ preached. He came here to teach us how to live amongst one another. We must forgive one another. You know, as we move through life. It's interesting. There's a there's a movie quote that I like, you know. At some point in time, you got to decide whether you're hanging on the cross or banging in the nails. <laughs> you know, which one are you? Yes. Very good point. Yeah. All right, Henry, I'm getting a little tired. Now. All right, we wore him out. But I'm telling you, it's not Matt and Molly's fault. It's the people giving him direction. Very good. I agree. And um, I agree. I agree. It's always the, 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 the you know, you don't see it. You, don't see it because, you know, it's just like the president. The president is nothing but the figure for us. There's somebody <laughs> telling him what to do, isn't Well, it? what's funny? The president. Well, it's not funny. Would you agree with that? Because he looks like a corpse, <laughs> and America's dying under him. Well, I'm not going to put that totally on the Biden. Because, uh, you know, like... No, I say, it's not. We, it's we the people disagree. behind him. Yeah, we, 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 we can disagree. Uh, well, I'm not a fan of Big Joe. Yeah, well, I'm not, I'm, I'm not a fan of either one. I mean, but... But I'm going to vote for I, Trump. I, 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 I pick the least... I pick the least of hey, the devil. Did you see all that stuff with Stormy Daniels and the lawsuit? Did you follow any of that? I listened to it, but... It didn't have we're, anything we're, to do with the paperwork... Or what the lawsuit was about, mm -hmm. you don't have to bring up the fact that he had like silk underwear or something. All sure, this nonsense. Sure, sure, sure. But you can't, you can't be trying to put your. Um, it's like if Kevin Cook sent the sheriffs over here to jail me down for speaking. Number one, Kevin wouldn't do it. But you know what I mean. Well, and the sheriffs hopefully got better sense in Shawnee County. But you can't be trying to put your political opponent in jail. Well, I'm going to say this. Uh, I was just talking at the barbershop. And, uh, you know, Donald, they were saying Donald was there in the Bronx or somewhere in, in New York trying to get the black vote. Well. Oh, he's going to get the black vote. Well, I don't know. Uh, because uh, this is the situation. Uh in the 1800s, the Jim Crow was formed because when the people were let free, when black people were let free, they had they, they was already tilling the land. They had more experience than most people. So they would get hired from the people to do the land. Well, uh, it's, it's kind of coming back here again now. Trump is saying the immigrants are going to take your, your job from you black people. Now, I could be wrong. But well, I, then, I don't believe in that type of number, freedom. Number one, you can't just have people walking into this country we don't know. The the well, we've there's been criminals. Doing, we've been, well, I agree that we don't know. But if you go to Texas, have you been to Texas lately? No. Okay. Well, I have. But I'm a friend of Abbott. And and Texas, Texas, uh, they're the only ones that are building the houses or the roads. They're in the heat, and they're the ones that are built. So you can't have your cake and your icing, too. If you, you want them to build your roads, and then, at, and this is just J, JB talking. You might hate me. I might hate me after this. I like it. I like, yeah. I like initials. You can't build the hey, we roads. Got the, we got JB on the show yeah, today. Yeah, that's oh. where they know me, but that's where the public know me. You can't have them build the but roads. But you're a junior. I'm a junior. Yeah, but my dad goes by Jim, so there's no comparison. JB and Jim. Yeah, dad is Jim. I'm JB. And so you can't have them build your highways in the sweat and the heat. Uh, here, when that bridge fell down, who was that that was building those bridges? Who, I don't know. You, you don't follow that, huh? Well, it was the immigrants that came in that ended up dying on those bridges. Which bridges? Uh, the one in, in uh, Baltimore. Oh. Yeah, that one. So you're, oh, that's why Biden immediately wanted to pay for it. Well, I don't know why, but... Well, because to cover it up. Well, I don't know. 
got you always got to follow the money. Yeah. Well, I, I like this show because because we can share. We don't have to agree. There's no that. racial barriers. That's yeah, yeah, what I yeah, like. yeah. We don't have to agree with one another. Yeah, we we're don't. Just, we're just making points, and then the voters will go out and uh, and. Uh, so let's look at those house districts for you. You could run for the house right now. Yeah, well, we'll have to talk about that off air because uh, one thing, only thing I can say on air is that my father said to me, uh, "You have to be where the leaders are at in order to make a difference." Well, that's why you're on this show. Very good. Interim McClure live. Thanks for tuning in.